So the other unit of measurement that we're going to talk about is what we call a radian. So again, if we take a circle, and, if we, and we know that a circle has a center, and the distance from the center to the outer of the circle is called the radius. Right? Now, I know some of you guys hopefully have cooked some pasta or seen some dried pasta, like spaghetti pasta. It's dried pasta, right? You put it in the hot water, and then it becomes flaccid, right? It's movable. You can do whatever you want with the pasta. So if you were to take this radius, okay, and you were to wrap it around the circle, so put it in hot water, wrap it around the circle, the rotation of a ray from there to the distance of where, it ta of where the end of that radius would be, that is one radian. So if you're going to take the radius, wrap it around the circle, if you were to rotate two rays from to the distance of that radius around the circle, that measurement between the initial part and the end and the terminal part is equal to one radius. the length of the radius. So if you take the length of the radius and wrap it around the circle, it's going to be roughly right around there, right? Doesn't matter what the circle is, any circle. Then, well, you could do two radians, right? So if you wrapped it around here, you would have two radians. And then you could do three radians. Now, three radians gets close to being all the way around the circle, but it does not actually go all the way around the circle. Does anybody know how many radians goes all halfway around a circle? That? That's two radians. That's to represent, this would be the measurement of one radian, two radians, and three radians. OK? Huh? Yes, Lau, you want to answer it? Yeah, 2 pies or tau. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to give you the answer to the next one. Because you're on the right track. I know what you're talking about, <clears throat> but you're on the right track. But I said, what is the, how many radians does it take to go halfway around oh, the circle? 3.14159, and it goes on and on and on and on forever. And it's pi. So ladies and gentlemen, the distance halfway around the circle in degrees, you guys almost always know that. Oh, it's 180 degrees, right? You, any of you guys do like any kind of sports, you do like a 180. Well, if you guys think about it, how many radiuses can you wrap around to get to half the circle? You can't do three. It's more than three. So this little area right here, that little portion that you need to get to is the 0.14159. So the distance of halfway around the circle is pi. So if you took an angle and try to do half of the circle, that angle is pi. However, Lyle, if I want to do the distance around a whole circle, that would be 2 pi. Or tau. Two pi. Oh, well, it is. <laughs> we're not talking about degrees. Okay. It, we're talking about radians. How many radiuses wrap around halfway around a circle? In de remember what I talked about. Degrees is something totally different, right? Degrees is just a unit of measurement. We just accept that unit of measurement. Radians, though, is a little bit more specific of a unit of measurement. It's saying, how many radiuses can we wrap around? When we're, met, when we're, rotating, when we're rotating rays, and we rotate a ray the length of a, where the length around the circle is the distance of one radius, that angle is measurement of one ray. If I wrap this, if I go around, or if I took two radiuses and wrap them around the circle, the rotation of the rays, that far would be two radians. Okay? And then halfway around the circle is three radians. All the way around the circle is, oops, two pi, is um, two pi radians. So the important thing for you guys to understand about this is let's look at the conversion of degree. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yep, we'll be getting into it. Okay. So let's look at degree and radians. Let's kind of go through what we know. If I said the degree was 
180 degrees. In radian measurement, that is equal to? Pi. pi. 3.14159, we're just going to use pi. right? If I said the radian measurement is 2 pi, we automatically can convert that to degrees as? 360 degrees. right? And then we can start having fun with this. We could say, hey, what about 90 degrees? What would that be? One half pi, right? Well, instead of writing it 1 half pi, which is correct, we write it as pi over 2. OK? And we'll be doing more of these um, in this class. But do you guys see how these are equivalent? OK? It's just different units of measure. We have the degree, and then we have the radian. OK? Just different units of measure. All right? So if we have different units of measure, just like 